Hey guys, what's up Leo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation. Any obstacles in your way. And outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. So you got somebody stressing. But you don't see it though. Or maybe it's you. Okay, so Leo. Um, yeah, remember it's a general reading. Take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please like and subscribe below. Alright guys. Working hard to move forward. Could be trying to move into a new home or just trying to move towards a time of peace. Like tranquility. Alright, show me Leo immediate future. When I say work hard, I don't mean that's been easy because it's the card I just seen and it just popped out. So I had to clarify or, you know, let you know and here it is. Anyways, this isn't easy. I mean, this girl had to pack it all up and kind of just hit the old dusty trail. But my point is, that's, I'm not saying that's what you're doing. Um, wow, the Ace of Swords. Okay. Uh, but my point was working hard. Leo. There's a lot of unknowns, right? I don't think... I think there's a lot that's unknown. And the only reason I'm saying that is strictly based off the colors. I think that's going to change. I think it's either somebody's realizing something. You're either literally packing it up cutting out what's no longer serving you and of course we're going to clarify and tell uh or and see but um or there could be communication that's been difficult but either way we're coming out of this unknown because we have the queen of wands so it's almost like get it girl you could be dealing with the aries leo sag but just look at the colors we go from this dark gray unknown to this vibrant and excitedness. So I, that's how it feels, okay? Because we're starting with a 10. So 10s are about transformations, changes, and that further reduces to a one, which is the eighth, which is the new beginning, which is right here. Show me the 10 of wands for Leo. Something's been heavy at the very least, carrying a lot of weight. It could just be working hard. You could be working hard for things to be balanced or for some, oh, okay, good. Well, you're working hard to manifest something, to make something happen. And that's, that's freaking awesome. You're working hard to make your wishes happen. It's like a euphoric feeling good. It could have to do with your bank account, honestly, because we have a six of pentacles. So this as cash flow is good, but either way, it's like you're, even if there's a relationship, somebody is working hard to manifest some type of balance, to restore some type of balance within this. Show me the Six of Pentacles for Leo. All right, so it feels like somebody wasn't quite sure how to make that happen. Or there may have been a time that this is a two of swords energy and just coming off that super moon. This can cause that kind of energy where like things are at a crossroads and you're not sure like which way you're going or which way this things are headed. It's kind of just feeling blinded. But I feel like there's something coming that you're not seeing because this is the two of swords and next we're having the ace of swords. So it's like getting that clarity through this time of uncertainty or you know not knowing which path things are about to go because at the bottom of the deck we have a seven of swords so somebody could have been given to more than one person this is liar cheater thief so there just could have been some dishonesty here and things could have came to a crossroads if this is a person with the seven of swords and that magician you're probably dealing with a sneaky somebody All right, show me this Ace of Swords for Leo. Oh, okay. Sagittarius energy in the middle, but my friend, it looks like 
something hurt you here. It let you down, it ended, right? It didn't go as planned. Somebody could have lied, could have betrayed you. This could be an ending because of betrayal. So someone cut out what was no longer serving. Had like that epiphany and was like, nope. So like a need to defend yourself kind of became distant, defensive, Sagittarius energy, trying to move on, trying to heal. It's working. Um, you became no longer... Uh, with the Queen of Wands and this Four of Cups, this is like you no longer are off interested in this um, this cup right here. It's like it's right there, and then this this Queen of Wands. At the end of the day, this is the outcome. So this is like an offer you're not interested in. You're kind of just not reaching out and taking that like. Um, this can be fed up. This can be bored. Like, I mean, you're bored of the same cycles happening or it doesn't feel like bored though. Um, this is fed up. Cause this queen of wands is confident and this is your outcome. She's a go-getter type energy. She, she gets out there, she has fun, she's flirty, she's sexy, that type of thing. So it's almost like a, I'm good, no thank you. Like my point is you, someone, you haven't been entertaining this. So at the end of the day, show me the Queen of Wands. You're getting back out there and you're doing your thing. You're feeling you're feeling good. The Queen of Wands feels good. She's busy. She's active. She's intuitive. And here it is. All right, the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So the look, if I can just keep it really real with you, this could be a brand new person. For some of you, it's like the moment you started ignoring this person, the opportunity is here. For others, you got over a heartbreak. As soon as you let go, the opportunity is here. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. You're feeling good, though, because the, the Two of Cups is here. This is a bond, mutual love. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Leo? The lovers. Could be a Gemini, but... This got you feeling real good. Yeah, the chariot and the six of cups. So cancer energy, this definitely could be somebody from your past returning with the six of cups. Could be a childhood friend, could be a cancer. Um, somebody could be traveling, making a little trip here, but things are moving forward and you're feeling freaking fantastic. So if this, because like I said, this could be brand new with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be somebody, an ex or somebody kind of popping back up. For some, like I said, it's the moment that you ignored this and started moving on, it came. For others, it's the moment you healed and let go of something, new opportunities coming. So it could go either way, but the unknown is now known. At least, I mean, the direction. If this is a past person, um, I mean, you're feeling a lot of passion and a lot of love. Goodness, you're feeling good. But if this is a past person, I don't like that the lovers is there. So can they trust it if it's a past person? Can Leo trust it? I would. And use your own discretion, but... And not in a bad way, because you and this person is going to be on the same level. You could be dealing with a fire sign. I mean, another fire sign, but you're going to be on this, this same level, like this level of intensity of really wanting to, you know, really wanting each other um, and to move forward. But we do have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands can be in and out. So if this is a past person, you know, it's extremely fun. It's so much fun. Sex is probably incredible, can't even lie. But this Knight of Wands doesn't always settle down. There is love here, but also with the lovers, there can be a third energy. So the reason I point that out is because if there was somebody who was given to two different places before, it's, you know. But I don't want to shit on anybody's parade. If this is somebody brand new, I mean, you're going to have to trust your intuition. But, I mean, it look. It, it looks like a lot of fun and it looks like it may have potential 
and for some if it's somebody new this might take off like super quick with the knight of wands and the chariot either way that's fast as hell this comes in like out of nowhere yeah see the high priestess trust your intuition look at things from all angles and allow divine time and you don't have to rush anything but this is gonna make you feel good all right leo hope it helps hope it resonated if so please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading find that information below as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time